Hey everyone and welcome back. Tesla CEO Elon Musk started discussing the potential for electric airplanes, which he thinks could be viable in about 5 years. Could a Tesla airplane be in Musk's plans? Today we're going to be talking about Tesla's secret plan to disrupt airlines. Make sure you stay until number 1, because you don't want to miss this unique topic about Tesla's secret plan to disrupt airlines. Let's get started. We're already starting to see electric airplane programs, like the Pipistrelle Alpha Electro all-electric plane and the Siemens and Magnussen's eFusion. However, battery technology still needs to improve to have commercial aircraft as we have today. Musk has already been talking about all modes of transport going electric at some point, except for rockets. Years ago, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX even said they had a design for an electric vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft, though he never elaborated on plans to bring the aircraft to production. The idea that Elon Musk presented is both simple and incredibly daring. It entails creating airplanes that would function with the help of batteries. For now, the fuel that is used for jets is undeniably stronger and has a better density. But if batteries could be improved, huge amounts of energy would be saved. The reason for it is very simple. Electric motors are considerably lighter in terms of their weight, and they also have a better possibility to convert the energy and make the plane move more quickly and smoothly. It means that Musk's theoretical aircraft would be built on lithium-ion based batteries, but before it happens, they have to be enhanced from the technological perspective. Using them will only make sense if they possess a 400 watt hour per kilogram density, which would help them prevail over the usual kerosene. In Musk's mind, his plane will be capable of performing a vertical takeoff as well as landing, despite the high speed with which the aircraft will tend to move. It makes it fall into the VTOL model category. The new aircraft would also meet all universal guidelines, possibly replacing some of the modes of transport we are currently using. As Musk puts it, the world already has almost everything it needs for making his idea come to life. The only thing that requires improvements is batteries. For his design to work, Musk said that the energy density of batteries needs to improve. Recently, Musk updated his expected timeline for the energy density to improve enough to enable battery-powered airplanes. Musk explains that jet fuel beats batteries when it comes to energy density, but the efficiency gains mean that you don't need as much energetic potential. Jet A, kerosene, has much higher energy density than lithium ion, but electric motors weigh much less and convert stored energy to motion better than combustion engines. When he revealed that he had a design for an electric VTOL aircraft, Musk estimated that lithium ion batteries would need to achieve a 400 watt hours per kilogram energy density for batteries to be kerosene and for his electric aircraft to be viable. Today, battery cells with high cycles are achieving about 300 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. Do you think Tesla will ever expand to electric aircraft? But Tesla is working to increase that capacity at unprecedented speed right now. In an exchange with ARK Investment Analysis Sam Chorus on Twitter, Musk said Tesla might be able to achieve volume production of 400 watt hours per kilogram batteries in just 3 to 4 years. Although that will mostly be as a result of Tesla's efforts to extend the vehicle's driving range, a battery of that capacity will be just powerful enough to get an airplane off the ground. A Tesla flying machine has become some of the stuff of legends. While Musk has suggested several times that it's not a top priority, he's also dropped hints that he's given the idea serious thought. Musk said that in 2008, that an electric jet becomes more feasible as batteries improve. In 2012, he said that he'd had a design for the past 4 years, dropping references again in 2014 and 2015. In 2016, he described it as a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, one that wouldn't need a runway, and in 2017, he said it was not inconceivable he would do an electric plane. Musk hinted several times that he is interested in creating one, even as far back as 2010 during his one-line cameo in Iron Man 2. Elon Musk has said advances in battery technology could make electric planes commercially viable within three years. The Tesla boss made a claim just two weeks after he published a research paper detailing vastly improved next-generation battery cells. The breakthrough appears to have prompted Musk to revise a previous prediction from 2019 they said it would be at least 5 years until commercial batteries achieve a 400 watt hour per kilogram energy density, which he calculated is necessary for flight. Several companies are already working on zero emission planes, though Tesla is yet to commit to building one. Musk hinted several times that he's interested in creating one, even as far back as 2010 during his one line cameo in Iron Man 2. In a 2016 interview, he revealed that he had already had a prototype designed for a vertical takeoff vehicle, though they have never been publicly released. Also in an interview two years later, he said Tesla's focus remained on cars, claiming that developing an electric plane isn't necessary right now. Small-scale operations are currently underway, with the first ever commercial test flight with an electric plane taking place last year in Canada. 
Harbour Air flew an electric seaplane for about 50 minutes over the Fraser River, in what could be the first steps towards electrifying its entire fleet of more than 40 planes. This historic flight signifies the start of a third era of aviation, the Electric Age. Non-commercial airplanes have proved that sustained flight using battery power is possible. In 2017, Solar Impulse 2 made history by becoming the first electric plane to circumnavigate the globe. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there!